Beginning with Decision 2016 coverage tonight, Governor Scott Walker is defending his debate performance on the campaign trail tonight after getting fewer minutes to speak than any candidate. Here's what he had to say. I'm not real worried early on. I think people want uh, someone who's steady, who's presidential, who focuses on the issues. And that's what we did. There was a As for how Walker, how Walker did, political experts say that he played it safe. So will his performance help or hurt him in the polls? NBC 26's Alex Hagan has been looking into his performance. He joins us live in the Green Bay newsroom with what he learned. Alex? Well, Megan, those experts say that Governor Walker didn't get enough time, especially for being third in the polls. But then again, he didn't hurt himself. But you can expect a lot more out of the governor in upcoming debates. In the first GOP debate, unlike Hillary Clinton, Governor Walker's target was clear. Everyday America. His campaign released this video following his it's performance. Been a lot of time talking about Hillary Clinton. We should be talking about Hillary Clinton because everywhere in the world that Hillary Clinton hitting on abortion, to foreign to policy, and of course the nation's economy. People like Hillary Clinton think you grow the economy by growing Washington. So how do we grade his performance? The biggest takeaway is we got too many candidates in the debates, probably. Political consultant Jim Morrison says his moment in the spotlight was taken by the two front runners, Trump and Bush. I don't think he hurt himself, but I didn't see that aha moment that that some people might be looking for. But Morrison says Walker held strong on foreign Walker. policy, an area he has little experience in. And I think in future debates, he will probably do even better. Uh, now that he's got this, this first time in that big stage. Overall, uh, a playing it safe approach. Four years ago, long before any of these videos came Now, out. coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to delve into the keys for each candidate in order to stay in this race. Reporting live tonight in the Green Bay Newsroom, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26.